हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस बैबिनेट कंपेंसेटर लेट्स विगेन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट रिटार्डेड फ्लेट्स व्हाट आर रिटार्डेड फ्लेट्स रिटार्डेड फ्लेट्स बेसिकली यूज to showcase the path difference in between e ray and o ray it is categorized as half wave flats and quarter wave flats in case of half wave flats the path difference in between e ray and o ray is lambda by 2 that is half of the incident wavelength next in case of quarter wave plates the required path difference in between e ray and o ray is equal to lambda by fourth that is 1 by fourth of that of incident wavelength by using these retarded plates we can easily obtain our required path difference in between e ray and o ray <coughs> but here uh, it will be a drawback what to be the drawback the drawback uh, was if uh, the thickness of the retarded flesh is fixed it does not vary means for a particular wavelength we have that uh, particular uh, path difference in between e ray and o ray for variable thickness or we can say for long range of wavelength we can't achieve particular uh, path difference in between these two rays that's why to overcome such difficulties we introduced another optical instrument which is known as the babinet compensator <coughs> so babinet compensator is an optical device that is adjusting retarded plates in case of retarded plates we don't adjust it but babinet uh, in case of babinet compensator we adjust it as far as uh, our uh, required result to be obtained in case of retarded plates that is half wave plates and quarter wave plates are limited only to small range of wavelength to produce the path difference between e ray and o ray but uh, in case of babinet compensator has no such limitation of wavelength range and uh, it it compensates uh, the path difference between o ray and o ray e ray ordinary ray and extraordinary ray <coughs> now come to the construction part of babinet compensator how we construct that type of optical device the babinet compensator consists of two wedge shaped quartz pieces of equal acute angles and are placed such that they form a small rectangular block come to that of construction part here we prefer wedge shaped quartz pieces what is quartz crystal quartz crystal is uh, a crystal of uh, positive uniaxial crystal quartz crystal is an example of positive uniaxial crystal what type of uh, quartz crystal here we prefer that is uh, a wedge shaped quartz crystal where equal acu acute angles a wedge shaped quartz crystal this is a wedge shaped uh, quartz crystal this angle that angle 
as equal acute angles so these two angles are 45 degrees that one is 90 degree this is quartz crystal one quartz one next another quartz crystal which is placed in such a manner that the small a they form a small rectangular block to form a small rectangle block so another quartz crystal is placed in this manner So another quartz crystal where shaped quartz crystal that's why it has uh, two equal acute angles this is quartz crystal 2 quartz crystal 2 <coughs> and the thickness of uh, quartz crystal 1 it has a thickness thickness with T1 and thickness of quartz crystal 2 as T2 the T2 thickness of quartz crystal 2 T1 thickness of quartz crystal 1 The optic axis of one wedge is parallel to its refracting edge while the optic axis of other wedge is perpendicular to the longer edge. As we construct it in such a manner that uh, quartz crystal 1 and quartz crystal 2 are just looking like a small rectangular box. Therefore, the optic axis of one Aids is parallel to that of uh, refracting edge, whereas the optic axis of other one is perpendicular to that of longer waves. Hence, these two optic axes are mutually perpendicular when these two waves are contact with each other. <coughs> so, one of uh, such waves is fixed while the other waves can be displaced with respect to that of fixed waves in its own plane with the help of micrometer screw here we use a micrometer screw with the help of that uh, micrometer screw is uh, a micrometer screw this is a micrometer screw micrometer screw with the help of that the micrometer screw we can adjust the thickness of these two plates <coughs> so that the thickness of the plate can be varied by using that micrometer screw so one end of uh, one of that of quartz is fixed other is varied by using that micrometer screw that's why the thickness will be varied this will be the construction part <coughs> Next, come to the working or principle. <coughs> when <coughs> light is incident on that of uh, quartz crystal 1, so it is a positive in your axial crystal, and uh, the nature of that type of crystal is double refracting crystal. So, that uh, rays are split up into 
टू रेज वन इज ई रे एंड अनादर वन इज ओ रे एंड दिस टू रेज हैविंग डिफरेंट वेलोसिटीज अगेन दिस टू रेज आर नाउ इंसिडेंट दैट एज सो आर दैट ऑफ क्वार्स क्रिस्टल टू द ई रे ऑफ फ्रॉम दैट ऑफ क्वार्स वन बिहेव लाइक ओ रे वेर एज द ओ रे फ्रॉम दैट ऑफ क्वार्स वन बिहेव लाइक ई रे फॉर दैट ऑफ क्वार्स क्रिस्टल टू ड्यू टू इट्स कंस्ट्रक्शन आज वी कंस्ट्रक्ट दिस टू एडसेस लाइक दिस सो ई रे एंड ओ रे आर इंटरसेंसेबल इन क्वार्स क्रिस्टल टू दैट्स वाई अगेन दिस टू रेज हैव डिफरेंट वेलोसिटीज इन क्वार्स टू ड्यू टू द वेरिएशन इन वेलोसिटीज दिस टू हैव देयर ओन पाथ रिफरेंसेस दैट्स वाई बाई टेकिंग द मैथमेटिकल एनालिसिस ऑफ पाथ रिफरेंस इन बिटवीन दिस टू रेज द रेजल्ट एंड पाथ डिफरेंस फॉर क्वार्स वन इट हैज ए पाथ रिफरेंस नेक्स्ट फॉर क्वार्स टू इट हैज ऑल्सो इट्स ओन पाथ रिफरेंस सो द रेजल्ट एंड पाथ डिफरेंस इन बिटवीन दिस टू कैन मैथमेटिकली बी कैलकुलेटेड सो फर्स्ट वी राइट वेन light is incident on quartz 1 then it is split up into two rays that are E ray, external ray, and O ray with different velocities. Due to the different velocities, it is possessed path difference, and these two rays. Intersensible for that quartz two due to its construction. Means. ई रे चेंज टू ओ रे एंड ओ रे चेंज टू ई रे फॉर दिस क्रिस्टल so there will be a path difference in quartz 1 as well as in quartz 2 therefore the resultant path difference the resultant path difference resultant path difference introduced by the compensator is equal to the path difference
डी टू क्वार्ज वन माइनस सॉरी प्लस द पाथ डिफरेंस डी टू क्वार्ज टू सो द रिजल्ट एंड पाथ डिफरेंस बाय द कंपेन्सेटर लेट डेल्टा एंड द पाथ डिफरेंस बिटवीन ई रे एंड ओ रे सो द पाथ डिफरेंस ड्यू टू क्वार्स वन इन क्वार्स वन इन केस ऑफ क्वार्स वन क्वार्स इज ए पॉजिटिव यूनिवर्सल क्रिस्टल सो द वेलोसिटी ऑफ ओ रे इज मोर एज कंपेयर रिजन टू दैट ऑफ वेलोसिटी ऑफ ई रे सो द रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ ई रे इज ग्रेटर दैन दैट ऑफ रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ ओ रे देर फोर द पाथ रिफरेंस एज रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ ई रे माइनस रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ ओ रे एंड द थिकनेस ऑफ दैट ऑफ कार्स क्रिस्टल वन टी वन विद द थिकनेस हियर वी ट्रीटेज टी वन थिकनेस of quartz 1 t2 thickness of quartz 2 for quartz 1 the path difference between e ray and o ray mu e minus mu o plus t1 plus the path difference due to quartz 2 in case of quartz 2 e ray Act as O ray and O ray acted as E ray, and again, quartz is an example of positive uniaxial crystal. So the refractive index of O ray minus the refractive index of E ray to the thickness of the top quartz crystal, that is T two. This is the path difference due to that of quartz two in case of E ray and O ray. Or delta is equal to And it's mu e minus mu o t one minus as common. It will be mu e minus mu o t two. Or delta is equal to mu e minus mu o as common. That of bracket t one minus t two. This is the path difference. therefore the corresponding the corresponding phase difference the corresponding phase difference is given by let delta be the phase difference so the relation between phase difference and path difference That is the two pi by lambda into path difference. Therefore, uh, delta is equal to two pi by lambda into path difference mu e minus mu o into t one minus t two. The equation number two. See the expression for path difference. That one be the expression for phase difference. In that of expression, it is clear that by adjusting the thickness in between these two quartz crystals, and that the thickness can be easily adjusted by taking that uh, micrometer screw. Therefore, for different uh, wavelength under uh, different uh, thickness conditions. our required the path difference in between e ray and o ray is easily achieved here from that of expression from that of expression it is clear that as 
one of the wedges can be displaced with respect to the other then the difference in thickness that is t1 minus t2 can be can be made to have any required value that resulting in desired value of phase difference of phase difference or path difference <coughs> as a result Babinet compensator Babinet's compensator can be used for light of any wavelength. So the limitations as you we see in case of retarded plates that is half wave plates and the quarter wave plates uh, that the limitation is now evaluated or that the limitation now solved by using Babinet compensator as Babinet uh, compensator is useful for light of any wavelength. But in case of uh, these two retarded plates, they acted in for small wavelengths. But uh, that type of limitation now solved. So here, with the help of this video lecture, we understand the concept of uh, Babinet compensator. Uh, what is the Babinet uh, compensator and its uses? Then construction of such uh, optical instrument. Principle, or we can say the working principle of a Babinet compensator. From that of uh, mathematical expression, it is clear that by adjusting the thickness of uh, quartz 1 and uh, quartz 2 by the help of micrometer screw, uh, we achieve uh, our required path difference or uh, phase difference. So, Babinet compensator is useful for. Uh, any wavelength of light. So, with this useful and to intimate you notes, let me wind up the session. Thank you.